Welcome back to The Contact Coach. And this video is brought to you by worldrugbyshop.com. So England, and any team for that matter, are at their best when they've got their big ball carriers like Vunapola and Sinclair carrying hard and working hard on the floor for quick ball. And also a shape that allows multiple options so they can take the space and make line breaks and convert that into points. So let's look at a few common trends of how England are really close to firing. So teams often show how they're going to play in the first 10 minutes. Everyone's fresh, all the training and practice is in place. So you start to get a feel of the shape. And this can be seen over a few weeks as well. And the first one we're going to look at is a pod off nine, three forwards, playmaker out the back. And this just provides options instantly. So there's a carry option with support player. There's a tip on option if it edges on or you can play out the back. So this is a common setup that you'll see for England. And this carry and clear out is a prime example of quick ball, brutally effective, and then England are playing on the front foot. On this occasion, Johnny May gets penalised for an extra roll under pressure from George North, but you can start to see a shape formation. And I like this clip because it's still early in the game and it just shows you what England are trying to do. I want to draw your attention to the two forwards in the midfield and the playmaker out the back. So that's just a, a second layer of attack which is going to be really important as we go through this video. But also, I just want to take it back a week. You're going to see a very similar picture against Italy. And they have the same shape. But interestingly, they pull the ball out the back. So they're demonstrating the options that this has. They've got the second layer of attack. They're there to either carry hard or hold a defence. Played out the back once more to Slade. Now England are in a really strong attacking position. Good work by May to get a bit of footwork, great contact skills to present the ball. Now here's the shape as well. You can see the three, playmaker out the back, and this time Youngs goes straight to the playmaker, and now England can hit that midfield pod on a hard carry. Now this yields three points, but I really want you to focus on that shape because we're going to see it against Wales in key moments of the games. So right on half time, 17-11, really tight. You can see the shape here. Sinclair pulls the ball back to Ford, but the setup is just slightly off. There's no passing channel to Slade. And why, why is that important? It's important because when we play through, you're going to see a very, very big space develop in the midfield. And that is the difference between England actually getting three points because they're under advantage or potential seven points. And it changes the context of the game. Now, if you cast your mind back to that first clip I showed you in minute one of the game, it's the same characters at play. So you've got the same shape, and you've also got Mako carrying, and you've got Curry coming in. And just look at the work he does, the leg drive, and then Curry working, the presentation. It's a blueprint of what they did earlier. Handling to the edge, but this time the Welsh just aren't as close, so the roll is allowed. It's okay. Quick ball. Now look at the shape. You've got the three playmaker at the back. The pass goes straight to Ford. It's a carbon copy of what we saw against Italy. It's like a mirror image. And as we saw against Italy, they hit that midfield group. Big carry. Now hindsight's a wonderful thing when we're sitting here. Ben Young's probably would have went the same way. A little bit isolated. Curry in from the side. And a massive opportunity lost. But that's look at how the shape works. And when England got it right, how devastating their attack can be. This clip just demonstrates how quickly England can get into their formation. This is from a retrieved kick. Just check out this pass from Youngs to Farrell. Beautiful. Ford comes from the backfield. And then it's a bit of footwork. And Anthony Watson, I don't think there's many better in the game at beating defenders. Protects the ball. Presents. Quick ball. And here's the familiar shape. And just look at the amount of options that England have. Wales just cannot deal with it. So they pull it out the back twice. Farrell's now on the front foot with Daly and Johnny May. Once again, that presentation, it's the same shape, but this time Youngs hits the forward group and picks out Marrow, who's running hard and straight, denser defence, great contact skills, the ball's available, Ben Young sees a small gap, gets through for a seriously good try. So it wasn't a perfect attack and performance, but between the shape the contact skills that England show on the floor, the power runners, the distributors, and mixing that in with their kicking game, I think England have got a bright future in attack and going to be a very exciting team moving forward as the years go by towards the World Cup. Thanks for watching The Contact Coach.